Hey you guys, it's Emily from Heart My Body Fitness and today we're gonna do a fire burning body weight glute workout. This workout is targeting the glutes. It's gonna be intense, but the good news is that all you need is yourself and a space to move around, no equipment needed. We're gonna do one round together and then I want you to go back and do this for three to four total rounds. This workout is going to burn our booties up and if you like it, please share it out with your friends and of course subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'm putting out new videos every Monday and if you subscribe then you'll know that you'll never miss a Monday. One more note, please make sure that you do a warm up before this. So if you need to pause this video and then come back after your warm up, that's cool, but do make sure that you get in a little bit of a warm up so that you're not starting completely cold. Okay, let's do it. All right guys, exercise one is a single leg deadlift. We'll do 15 repetitions on each side. I'm gonna show you from the profile view. With a deadlift, you'll always have one leg planted on the ground and your other leg will either back behind you with your toes on the floor if you need that little extra bit of support or you can lift your leg up and do the deadlift from there. With this, we are primarily hinging at our hips. We're gonna keep a nice, straight, tall line through our torso so we're not rounding or arching our back. Make sure that you are zipping your abs up as though you literally were wearing a really tight pair of jeans, zip it up, abs in, and we're gonna hinge forward and bring it on up. With a single leg deadlift, a game changer for me was when a trainer friend of mine said, think about squeezing the side of your glutes in and up, squeeze. Four, five, six, seven. Make sure that you inhale as you lower. Eight, and exhale as you come up. Nine. Squeeze it. 10. Whoa. If you start to lose it, you can always take a little rest or put your foot down. 11. Oh, I can feel my glutes and hamstrings. 12. 13. Two more. 14, last one, Woo! <laughs> and 15. I maxed out at 14, but we got through it. Okay, next, next side. Huh. Same rules apply, guys. Make sure that you get into a position that you're gonna be able to balance in good form, whether that's with your leg lifting or with it planted, it is totally up to you. You also notice that sometimes I don't lift my back leg super high and that's okay. Really what we want is to remain balanced and get a nice stretch through our glutes and hamstrings and then squeeze them tight at the top. I think this is four. Four, it might've been five, but that's okay. One more won't kill us. Plus I'll probably lose count. Six. Seven, to help stay balanced, it might be beneficial to look at a point kind of out in front of you on the ground. Now I've totally lost count, so it doesn't matter if I was at four or five. We're gonna do six more. Six. Five. Whew. Four, three, two, last one. Squeeze your glutes on the way up. Here it comes. Squeeze, 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 squeeze. And done. The next exercise is a curtsy squat to a side lunge. We'll start with 15 on the first leg and 15 on the other. So no alternating for this one. Not that we've alternated before so far in this workout, but just so you know, we're gonna step at a diagonal 
back behind us, bring our leg forward, and then lunge. And I don't really know what I want to do with my arms yet. Nothing quite feels natural, so just do what feels good to you. Maybe that'll feel good. Curtsy, up, lunge, bring it back. So with the curtsy, your torso is gonna stay nice and tall, upright. With the lunge, you do hinge forward a little bit at your hips. Woo! Up, out to the side, and bring it in. Now, one thing I wanna point out is that with that side lunge, you'll always wanna keep your anchor leg, as I like to call it, straight. So only the one knee, the stepping leg, is gonna bend on your curtsy, or on your side lunge. Your curtsy, you've got both knees that are gonna bend. Take it back, forward, and you'll notice that occasionally I'm keeping my leg up between the exercises, and occasionally I'm dropping it down. You can pick what works best for you. Of course, not dropping your foot down is gonna make it a little bit harder because you add that balance component. We'll do five more. Four more. Inhale down, exhale up. Inhale down, exhale up. Good, good. One more. And up, switch sides. Okay. Huh. I'm getting sweaty over here. Take it back to your curtsy. Uh oh, make sure that you have enough space. Curtsy, side lunge, right? Curtsy, forward with a tap down of your toes or that balance up to you to the side lunge. You might notice that one side feels tighter than the other, especially on that side lunge when we're really getting a stretch through our inner thighs. As always, guys, this is about making sure that we are squeezing our glutes. So squeeze your glutes, take it down, squeeze it back up. That's also gonna help you to be more stable so you can try that balance. Whew. And I have completely lost count. So if you're counting at home, stop. We're just gonna go together. <laughs> we'll do seven more. Six more. Whew. Breathe through it. One for good measure. And we're done. The next exercise will be on our hands and our knees. So make sure that your hands are directly beneath your shoulders and your knees are directly beneath your hips. Also make sure that you have a nice flat back. So we don't want to arch and we don't want to round our back. We just want a nice neutral position through our spine. From here, you'll take one leg back behind you, tap your toes to the ground, and we're gonna maintain this nice, strong, straight leg the whole time, as well as the nice, tight court torso, because what you're gonna wanna do is arch your back, but we're not going to. Instead, we're gonna hold everything super tight, squeeze your glutes, lift up and over, tap down, and then tap around. And we're making a rainbow, essentially, with our leg. Good, you'll feel that your glutes really have to squeeze on this one. Oh, and it burns. Ooh. Now, one thing that you will also maybe notice, I know I for sure am, is that my hips wanna come out to the side. Don't let them squeeze your uh, glutes as tight as you can, even on that stationary leg. We'll do five more. Four, 
three, two, and one, squeeze. <sighs> okay, other side. Straighten your leg behind you, squeeze your glutes, make sure that your abs are engaged. Tap it across and over. That's one. Two. Three. Oh, if you're like me, you can definitely feel the burn on this. Four. Five. Six. Seven, did I mention that we're going to 15? <laughs> Eight, squeeze it. Nine, you'll notice that I'm trying to move with control. Ten, five more. This is five. Four. Three. Two. And last one. And stretch. Okay, we're almost there. Two more exercises. The next one will come onto our side. Make sure that your elbow is directly beneath your shoulder. And we're gonna lift up into a side plank. Now you can always do a side plank with your bottom knee and leg planted for a little extra support. You'll still be able to do the full exercise, which is a side plank with a dip. You can also cross your legs so that your front leg is forward of your back leg. Wait, that's the definition. So your top leg is forward <laughs> of your bottom leg, or you can stack your feet. That's gonna be the most challenging option. Whatever you choose, we're going into a side plank with a dip. You'll lower down as close to the ground as you can go, and up. If you can only go like an inch or two, that's cool, just do what you can do. This one really focuses on our obliques, but also on the sides of our glutes. Four, five, I think I am off count, but that's okay. Six, guys, it's so hard for me to count and talk. Seven, when I teach classes with people there live, they usually correct me. Five more. Five, squeeze the booty. Four. Three. Two. Huh. And one. Oh man, it hurts. Okay, in a good way. Again. Make sure that you lift your hips up so that you can feel that your core really has to tighten. Squeeze your glutes. We're going down and up. One, two, three, four. If you notice that your shoulder is going way past your elbow, just reposition. Whoo, seven, eight, nine. You should feel your abs engage. Ten, five more, five, four, three, two, last one, one, oof. Okay, we've got one more exercise to take us home. Come down onto your mat, on your back. We're gonna be, in a position to do a bridge, but I want you to separate your feet wide on this. Whew, I've got sweat and hair all doing something up here. <laughs> so separate your feet wide. If you've got a yoga mat, that's a good uh, distance apart to aim for. You just wanna make sure that your feet are outside the width of your glutes, of your hips. You're gonna squeeze your glutes and lift up, hold. We're gonna do a little pulse down and up, and then lower down. So it's a, an up with a pulse, and then down. 
One rep plus a pulse. Squeeze your glutes. As you do so, you'll pull your abs toward your spine. Whew, you should feel this really on the outside of your glutes as well as your hamstrings. Keep squeezing, my friends. We've got six more reps. Woo! As much as your knees want to cave in, don't let them keep pushing those knees out. Four. Three. Woo! Two. We'll do one more, squeeze, hold, 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 ah. and release down. Ah. And with that, we are all done with round one, but don't forget, you've got three to four total rounds, so go back, do it again, and again, and maybe even again, don't leave me hanging, you wanna get in that full workout for the best results. I really appreciate you guys being here. If you like this video, please share it out with your friends and of course subscribe to my channel. I'm putting out new videos every Monday and if you subscribe, you'll never miss a Monday. You are so awesome, thank you again and I'll see you next week, bye.